Take the boy! Take him now! Brother, I should have known it would come to this. 
I am only here to claim what's mine. Your claim is false. I would sooner die than see my kingdom in your hands. Kill me. But in the name of your honor, spare my wife and child. Oh, brother, brother, brother. What do you take me for? A savage? Let me show you how gracious I may be in victory. All I seek is my destiny. My destiny is to rule. The sun and air. Well. Nephew. Please. He's a child, please. I beg you. Don't say a thing. There's nothing to say. It's your weight should be more forward on your front foot. Yes, I know. Shall we try again? Or oh, come the games we may disgrace ourselves? No. I have greater things to ponder than games. Interesting how the ram revolves around the bear. Theta and Gamma leading the way. Theta and Epsilon. Of course. I had that dream again. The gods torment me with it and I don't know why. It's not only a dream, Jason. It's a memory. What is this? It is the emblem of Hera and offers her protection. It once belonged to your mother, Queen Polymele, wife of Aeson, king of Iocles. My father a king? He was slain by Peleus, his own brother. And my mother? She lives. <sighs> Why has she never sent word? Does she not know where I am? When Peleus seized the crown, he took her as his wife and queen. But you are the rightful heir to the throne. And that makes you the mortal enemy of Peleus. And, and my mother, is she my enemy too?
Are you all right? I'd like to cross this river, but it flows so deep and fast. I'll help you if you like. That's kind of you, young man. Where are you bound for, young man? Ioclus? You know it. Oh, yes. And what do you seek in Ioclus? Not riches, I hope. No. Just as well. It's a poor country, bled dry by its king. Peleus. Peleus the Taxer, they call him. Of course, searching for the Golden Fleece is an expensive business. The Golden Fleece? The greatest gift from gods to man. Craved by Peleus beyond all reason. He believes it will grant him his heart's desire. Your charity will not be forgotten. Let me lead the next voyage, father. If they see you've entrusted your own son... It will make no difference. Unfortunately, the populace have yet to learn the great benefits the fleece will bestow upon them. What is it? An omen, sire. Of the greatest import. I see a young man. There is vengeance in his heart. He threatens your throne. What? Another rebel. No. Who then? I don't know, Majesty. What does he look like? I only know that he wears one sandal. I believe he has the protection of the gods. Find him. You see, he's here, Majesty, in Ioclus. Is this him? I believe so, sire. What brings you to Ioclus, boy? Come to find my mother. Who is your mother? Polymile. Bring her. How should we know you're not an imposter? I have this amulet given to me by my mother. Do you know what we do with fraudsters? I'm not the fraud. You summoned me. Oh, my dear. We have a young man who claims uh, to be your son. Take a good look at him. So, do you know him or not, my dear? I do not. And, uh, the trinket, the emblem of your most loved Hura. I've never seen it before. Very well. Take him down. We will execute him tomorrow. No. Oh, has something jogged your memory, my dear? So how do you find your mother, boy? Is she as you remembered her? Or even more lovely? Did you not know to come back here with certain death? Take him. My lord, I beg you, 
Spain. Give me one good reason. Because I will find you the Golden Fleece. What? Leave us. My lord. Get out! Out! What do you know of the Fleece? I can find it. Because I have protection of the gods. Tell me, if you bring the Fleece to me, what do you expect in return? Nothing more than my birthright. Well, my dear nephew, here is my rather generous offer. If you should bring the fleece back, I will restore you to Prince and your right to succession upon my death. Father, I must protest. I will even give you a boat. You'll have to find a crew. Not easy. But you'll have a marvelous incentive. Because if you're not back in six months, your mother's life will be forfeited. Clean, simple, and not open to negotiation. Your mother for the fleece. I've brought you something. Do not return. Promise me you will not return. I have no choice. Even if you return with the fleece, Peleus will kill you. The fleece is his obsession. He, he believes it will grant him his heart's desire. And what is that? Immortality. Eternal release from his doom so he may reign forever. He will not let you live. You know your husband well. I've had to learn his ways. For my sake and for yours, let it not have been in vain. Finest, fastest ship ever built. And the most expensive. Is she not, Master Argos? That she is, Majesty, but she is the best I've ever designed. Every joint is perfect, every nail true. All we need now is a crew that is worthy of her. What is she called? The Pallius. It seemed natural, although I am not sure now that it provided sufficient inspiration. Your Majesty. Might I suggest the Great Wake, in homage to her speed? Or maybe the Argo, in homage to the man who built her. Oh, I like that. I don't know what to say. The least we can do. I mean, considering you will be sailing with her. Me, sir? You, sir. Of course, sir. Oh, God is here. Hear my prayer. Protect my darling son, Jason. Guide him to safety. Protect him from his youth. Zeus, my lord, what has kept you from my bed? 
Affairs of mortals, Queen Hera. Affairs with mortals, I think you mean. And what is the nature of your complaint today? I know you have been chasing mortal women. Shh. I will be heard. Do you think I'm blind? You humiliate a goddess when you consort with mortals. Your duty as my queen is to obey. If not, descend and stain the earth with your spite. Don't tempt me. Seek men who know the sea. But only the best men who are willing to face its dangers and be prepared to risk all in the greatest quest of all for the Golden Fleece. Yes. If chosen, I promise you honor and glory. I'll take him outside and finish him off. a knife, it abused it. Why? The mention of the fleece. Not wise in sailors' company. But I need to find a crew. <sighs> I'll come. I could pull an oar. I mean, I'm no sailor, but... Uh... That's it. These are farmers, peasants, then who used to us? Shepherd. What do you think? Sorry, I understand the need for a crew, but... So you like danger? What the... I said hit it on the side, not here! You said in the middle. No, I said hit it here! Where? Here! This looks like hard work. Have you ever been to sea? No. You? Where? See. When? Yes. How? A boat. Ah. Uh, no. Never. A soak, a shepherd, and two quarrymen who've never rigged a sail, tied a knot, or held an oar. They have heart. There must be more like them. I hope not. The sea's pitiless can only be conquered by men of skill and experience. Without that, you invite death. I'll not sail with such a crew. You've been ordered by Peleus on pain of death. Then at least my death shall be quick. All right, rest.
Hello, young man. How are those strong young legs? Don't you remember me? You helped me across the river. Of course. I told you your charity would be rewarded. Go to Idas, the map maker. He'll show you the way to the Golden Fleece. Thank you. What is this slim hipped youth to you? A toy? Do you play with him despite Peleus? Why? Because you are jealous. Because he worships Poseidon instead of you. Is that what you think, great Zeus? That my affection is provoked by jealousy? Rather than his beautiful youth? Rather than his thighs, as smooth and strong as polished olive. Enough! Rather than his lips, as sweet as that. Hear me. Smooth faced, insolent baby. Whatever trials may lie ahead. Don't stop. Play on, please. There's a price. A place on your ship. What do you know of the sea? Nothing. To face the sea without knowledge or skill brings only death. Of death I am knowledgeable. Danger I do not fear, and I can give you music. Music that will tame wild beasts, lift men's hearts to heaven, and cause the lark to sing at night. What is your name? Orpheus. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a map. I have many maps. I'm looking for a map that will lead me to the Golden Fleece. If such a map existed, it would have a great price. That's all I have. Keep it. You will have more use for it than I. Come in. What do you know of the stars? I've learned something of them. I've never seen a map like this before. There is no map like it. Read it well, and it will take you to the end of the world. You're Sagittarius. And Cygnus. And Delphinus, this is a chart. A chart through the stars. No map can lead you to the fleece. It lies in an unknown sea. But follow this chart and it will take you to Tabletop Island. There you will find the prophet Phineas. It is said he knows the secret of the fleece. How was it possible to make such a map? With the help of my son and apprentice Zetes. The gods have given him eyes ten times sharper than an eagle. 
And you can see all the way to the end of the world? Only to the heavens. To the great forms of the constellations. I could use someone with such eyes on my crew. That may well be. But Zetes has work to do here. Which he should be doing now. May the gods speed your way. Thank you for your gift. Stop! Somebody stop him! Is this what you're looking for? The gods be thanked. And you, sir. My pleasure. What is that? A map. Where does it lead you? Phineas Island, and from there to the Golden Fleece. So you're the young captain. Men say you're a fool. Only to hide their fear and cowardice. Do you share their opinion? Do you know with whom you speak? Follow me. Get more men, Cantus. We'll dig her out. Hercules, this boat's going to find the Golden Fleece, and I'm going with it. Are you heroes, or are you cowards? I'll go. And I. And I. And I. And I. Remember me, sir? The little thief. Reformed thief, sir. Since when? Since this morning, sir. Uh, nice little piece, sir. My amulet? Uh, a gesture of goodwill on my part, sir. For I would like to come with you, sir. Why? To, uh, to improve myself, sir. To make amends. Give me a chance, will you, sir? What? So you can steal whatever you can, thief? Well, who better to snatch the fleece than a thief? Some wine, Mopsus. A drink to our journey. No, sir. I vowed never to drink again. So what do you reckon to this lad, Jace? He talks well. We'll see how he sails. My last labor by far was the most difficult. I had to pick the golden apples of Hesperides. 
Now, Atlas, my friend, was the only Titan tall enough to reach them. So, I held the weight of the heavens in his stead. To the end of the world? What does your father say? I haven't told him. A musician? Yes. There you are, musician. Or in the water. Or in the water. What are you doing here? I'm coming with you. You can't. Oh, really? Not a woman. Watch the man in front of you. Hey! Go! Ah, come here! Come here! Hey! Just kill him. What's this little bastard doing on board? <sighs> Let's throw him overboard! Yeah. Why? He's the king's son! We hit him. We do? Yes! We could nail him to the mast and let the girls peck his eyes out. Quiet! Ekion, put that away. Put it away now! Do as he says. There'll be no bloodshed on board. Watch that boy, sir. He's as slippery as a snake. He's my brother. Everyone back to your oars! I do not blame them for hating me. It is my father's reputation. It is a curse for me. A curse I wish to undo. If I sail with you, I will rid myself of it. How's that? If we have the fleece, we may rid Arclus of a tyrant, a monster. If you have the fleece, you can destroy him. If I have the fleece, I'm bound to give it to your father. Our mother's life is forfeit if I do not. Well, that is why I'm here, to help our mother. For Jason, through this bargain, I have learned what my father really is. A ship. A lone ship. distant, in a sea beyond our knowledge, beyond our reach. Why do you smile? Is it a good omen? Is it a bad omen? This youth, he has a pleasant face. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. What is it? Oh, yeah. Soap is good. Okay. And then after I tell them, not too much chili. Too much chili. 
Oh, Mr. You need one eyed lizard have to do. Oh, 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 See yourself in the air. Keep that picture in your mind. Your legs are springs, your arms wings. We'll soon leave charted waters. Does that not fill you with wonder? see nothing it's as if the gods have put a blind before our eyes Argo said we steered a straight course to the best of my ability without a landmark or the sun to guide us rocks still left still left Stay here. There should be no island here.
Jason! Stop! We must search for Jason! Echion is lost. So is Hercules, sir. It's Hercules! What have you done to him? You demean yourself. This boy would sooner sleep with a whore than honor you. Judge him not by your own base principles. Watch. The mast is sprung. Fort Strake plankings are weeping at the waterline, which means the bilge will be rising. That's not all. The yard on splintering. And, sir, we've lost the map. It's bad. It's 
very bad. She's hurt, Jason. We'll find timber. We'll make repairs. We haven't got the tools. What about a hunting party? Nothing like fresh roast venison to cheer the spirit. Zetis. All women? All women. Welcome to Lemnos. Majesty, Prince Jason. Our Queen Hypsipyle. Welcome. I understand you require some materials of us. Only a few things. Some timber and sailing cloth. Of course. You are welcome to these things. My gratitude, Majesty. This is when a garden looks best, don't you agree? A garden should be a little wild. It should be fertile. You should feel the force of creation in it. Mm. We will drink wine, pressed from my own grape, young and sharp. Mm. You can feel the earth in it. Taste its richness. For my fourth labor, I had to hunt the Eurymantian boar. Imagine a boar, huge, hairy, and full of hate. He is Pollux. He is Gaster. We are simple men. He's a quarry man. I am a stone mason. Stone mason? Sir, where are all the men? Fighting. Oh, yeah. Who? It's been so long, I have forgotten. <laughs> Please. Where's Jason? Why aren't you with the others? The other men they all seem to have lost their senses. But you? I have an advantage. My senses are dulled. Why? I had a love. Eurydice whose laughter was soft as rain and eyes were bright as the sky. I lost her to death. To lose her was to lose a universe. If the fleece can grant a man his heart's desire, it may give me another chance. But perhaps to love what cannot be yours is a wound that only death may heal.
Excellent. Let us see what the future holds. What does it say? That your destiny is to be king. What is this? Nothing? Did he say nothing? Mm. It appears you are quite forgotten. adored goddess, hear us and accept the coming sacrifice, the sacrifice of men. Tonight we feast, tonight we rejoice, for it is my wish that every man of the Argo take a wife from my people. I will make you princes of this island, and your leader, king. Let us go to the temple this very evening and celebrate the promise of eternal bliss. Jason! Jason! It's a trap. They're going to kill you. I've been to their temple. I know what they're planning. A sacrifice of men! <laughs> Don't you see? The men aren't away. They're dead. Look! This is their armor! <laughs> Absurd. Why are you saying these ridiculous things? She loves you. She loves you and wants to make you her own. Do not let her envy corrupt our love. Remove her! Jason! No, wait. Wait. This is not the purpose of our voyage. What can you find on this voyage that you cannot find here? I promise you infinite happiness. Perhaps we should go back to the boat.
What are your orders, sir? You decide. I'm not the captain. The boat is near sinking. We're lost. We have no food. Water. I don't know what to do. There are two dozen men here who trusted you. Who trust you again if you show some metal. So forget your own troubles. But remember you're the son of a king. And damn well do your duty. Hera. I ask you, please, show me a sign, anything. He comes with purpose in his heart. It is the fleece that draws him. The fleece. The fleece. like a woman, General. Where's your thirst for battle? Perhaps we should relieve him of his command. Father! I must speak with you urgently. It concerns our security. Later. It concerns the fleece. Where is this young man with the pleasant face? Closer than any have been before. Set your course west toward the unknown sea. I will find him for you, father. And I will destroy him. Tarragon. Perhaps fried onion. My God. Castor. What? I'm hungry. Me too. It's you. It's onions. Die. I wouldn't mind, bro. If we actually knew where we was going. It's what we chose. We're none of us prisoners. Even prisoners get fed. Begging your pardon, sir. 
But where are we now? We are east of Lemnos. Yeah. But where is that then? We seek Phineas on the tabletop island. And forgive me for asking, sir, but how should we find this island, seeing as we've got no map? Your place is to row, not to question. I don't mind rowing! If it's going somewhere! Yes! Do we know where we're going, sir? This is mad! We should turn back yeah. before we all starve to death! Cities. Sir? I need to see the stars. I, I remember from the map. The island lies just under that place in the heavens where the dog lies left of the archer. You show me that and I shall have us there by nightfall. If not, we shall turn back. But sir, it is daylight. How should I see the heavens? Have faith in your strength. Yes, I see them. I do. Draw for me. Draw what you see. This way. Argonauts, get to your oars. We sail this way to land. I'm sure of it. To your oars. To your oars. Land. I see land. Yeah. Island. Flat like a tabletop. Well done. Young master. We're gonna split up. Search for Phineas in different directions. Food's what we need, not profits. Yeah. Yeah. All the food, sir, in the temple. Well, we'll slow down one at a time. Find us. Sir, there's a temple up there. There's food in it. But there's these creatures. They ate beauties and typhus. We must leave this place. 
No, we cannot leave. We must find Phineas. Indeed. You have found him. Jason of Ioculus. I am Phineas. How do you know who I am? I am a soothsayer. My gift is great. I know what you're seeking, young man. Then you can help us. I've been 40 years on this island, exiled by the gods. In their jealousy of my gift, they ripped out my eyes. And for good measure, they placed me here to be tormented by hunger and harpies. Harpies? Yes, monsters. They are part of my torment. The other part is hunger, perpetual hunger. A table groaning with food every day. But to touch it is death. Can you show us the way to the Golden Fleece? I will point you in the right direction for the price of a small favor. lies in Colchis, the kingdom of Aertes. What do you know of him? A ruthless tyrant who guards the fleece, jealousy. His daughter, Medea, is a sorceress whose powers protect him. She is the guardian of the fleece. Well, how do we find Colchis? <laughs> Young man, you must enter the Eastern Ocean. And there is but one way, through the dark rocks. The doom of all that have gone before you.
stand in the water! The boat is sunk. The crew drowned. I see bodies crushed, sucked down. Is your brother dead? No. He lives. He is saved. He is saved by one who is loved by the gods. It is he who desires the fleece. as I stood on the bow without warning. Nobody told me. I was hard to know. I'm Jason, Prince of Iaclis. Aspertes, Colchis. Colchis? We're headed to Colchis. You are? Then I may be able to help you. My father's the ruler of Colchis, and I believe he will make you very welcome. First, however, we must find a route that will convey us safely there. Do you know of one? No. But I do know that to sail between these rocks is certain death. your dove. Why? Fly true, little friend. May the gods guide you. I see only wreckage, darkness. 
the ship is lost. 